Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're reacting to my queen, my goddess, my end-all, be-all, the one, the only, Miss Kelly Clarkson, and her latest release off her chemistry album. And y'all, I am tired. I am exhausted. If you've kept up with me on social media or if you watched any of my channel update videos for either May 2023 or April 2023, you know that I've been out of town a lot over the last month and a half um, with gigs and whatnot. And this morning I had two shows and then we packed up the entire set, we put it in the trailer and we drove six hours to get back into town. I just got home probably like 30 minutes ago and <sighs> Honestly, I should just be in bed. I should go home, or I am home. I should go shower, eat something, and go to bed. But my queen released music. I got the notification literally as I was going to bed last night. Um, I took my ass to bed early because I'm like, okay, I know I'm gonna have to make this six hour drive. So I'm gonna just go to bed a little bit early so I can have the energy to, you know, get through the shows and do the drive. And literally as I was going to bed, I got the little notification like, hey, a new a new track or whatever from your pre-order has been you know released here we go we're gonna download it i'm like shit <sighs> okay dover just avoid listening to it until you get home avoid don't put your phone on shuffle because i've done that before where i've bought albums with the intention of reacting to them and like i've had my phone on shuffle and a song will come on i'm like ooh, what is this and it's something from the album I'm like well shit well there goes that reaction so I'm like topher don't put your don't put your phone on shuffle don't don't listen to it don't go on the interwebs don't do nothing wait till you get home so now i'm home and we are here and we're reacting to my queen i'm tired i'm sweaty i need a shower i need food i need a nap but it is the things we do for my queen and because I love her and I've been dying to listen to this all day. I've had some people texting me, I've had some people DMing me, tagging me things on Twitter. Like, we're getting to this, especially since I haven't reacted to an abundance of Kelly stuff on the channel since I've been going out of town. Um, so we, we're diving into this, we're not waiting any longer. And I also know that they released a live performance of it from I think the little concert that she did um, over in Belasco a couple weeks ago. Um, so we might just, throw that into this video too maybe we'll see but we're gonna dive into the song and just see see what the third track has in store for us okay a beat take me home tonight kiss me how you like I've been waiting for you I've been waiting for you I like the company of just the just the bass line and the percussion a little bit. Actually, I think it might all just be bass line. Okay, I'm going to pause there before we start getting into something else. Musically, it give, I keep, I'm getting a lot of inspirations, but I, it's giving me kind of a mix of piece by piece album. Some of the album tracks on that. Um... There was a little bit of a little bit of breakaway that I was getting towards the beginning with some of the guitar strumming, um, but I'm getting a lot of because um, piece by piece there were a lot of tracks on there like nostalgic that gave me very kind of throwback, almost retro 80s ish kind of vibes to some of the instrumentation to some of the music, and I'm getting that same kind of vibe here, especially once like the rest of the instrumentation went out and it was just her singing over like the bass line. Like that was giving me a very sort of throwback retro vibe too. And I I dig it. And I feel like we're about to go into a very dancey kind of place and I'm I'm here for it. So I'm gonna take it back just a little bit and then keep going. You're my favorite kind of high. When you're in the room, mm -hmm. it gives me a very retro dancey kind of vibe. Very funky kind of guitar. Mm. 
<laughs> I like this chorus. saying it I've been saying it for months this era this post um, meaning of life era she is all about using this head voice to the max effect and her head voice is stunning absolutely stunning it has not failed or faltered if anything it has just gotten stronger over the years I live live And then that light release on the high. Mm. Come on, guitar! Get my thoughts. I'm just gonna take it back to that last little bridge into the last set of courses one more time because I just oh. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I think I'll do the live performance in a separate video. I love the song, and it's so short. It is so, some of her best songs, I swear. Some of her, like, fieriest most fiery bops are like some of the shortest. We didn't even hit the three minute mark on the song. But, like, it, so much happens in it. Like I said, musically, I get inspirations from the Piece by Piece album, um, Take You High, um, Dance With Me, Nostalgic. Um, I get some, just instrumentally, I get some breakaway of those rock guitar vibes, a little bit, but it's leaning a little bit more heavier into the, towards the Piece by Piece vibe. Um, but I love it. It's, it's beautiful marriage, beautiful marriage of sounds. Um, vocals, vocals are everything. They're always everything. Because if Kelly is one thing, it is she is a vocalist. I mean, she's many things. She's a vocalist, she's a storyteller, she's a goddess, she's a queen. Um, we're not worthy of her, but like, if if we have to pick one thing, she's a vocalist. Mama can sing, she can sing her face off. She's always gonna serve you up vocals. Um, so vocals, everything. Like I said, I love the use of her head voice, the high head voice. I love how she keeps playing, living in that area in recent times because I remember for the longest time in her discography, like she wasn't doing that. Like she, yes, she had her super high chest belts and she had her beautiful lows and she would do some riffs and runs and whatnot, but like her chest belts were really like her her bread and butter. That was her staple. Like you heard her her, her chest belt and you're like, oh, that's Kelly Clarkson. Uh, that's a Kelly Clarkson belt right there. But like there was a good period there where she wasn't utilizing that super duper beautiful high head voice. Like she might d 
dip into her falsettos and parts, but like that super like piercing high head voice, she wasn't really using it a lot. And like ever since we got into the the meaning of life era, I keep wanting to say piece by piece because I keep referencing that for this. But ever since we got into the meaning of life era, and after that, like it is just constant she is constantly using that in her karaoke segments in different album tracks she's just constantly popping it up there and i'm like yes mama show the children what you can do feed the children this banquet of vocals yes oh god i live 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 um yeah everything everything it is a great follow-up to the two tracks that we got because the other two tracks that we got so far me and mine fantastic but they were on the slower sign obviously me was a very uplifting kind of ballady kind of song we had the big gospel church feel and then mine was a little bit more mid-tempo um very radio friendly and like i said when i first reacted to that i feel like the more i listen to it the more that i'm going to enjoy it and that's 100 percent literally within a day of me recording that reaction i was hooked i was all about the song it just it sinks in it sets in with you um so, but again, that was a kind of a mid-tempo. So this was a nice change of pace, a nice up-tempo to show, okay, yes, the entire album's not going to be just sort of sad, mid-tempo, blah, blah, blah. We are going to have this variety of musical styles, this variety of tempos, um, and just a variety of emotions. Because again, one of the things she said about this album, meaning, you know, why she's calling it chemistry, is because, you know, she didn't want to just show the sad or the angry she didn't want to show one emotion um yes it is her divorce album post you know post divorce album but she didn't want to show just the one emotion because a relationship isn't just one emotion it is a multitude of different things that culminate to make this relationship we have your highs your lows your good your bad so this is the you know some of the good ish um i have to sit down with the lyrics a little bit more because unfortunately this wasn't a lyric video so i was just kind of grooving along and bopping along and taking in the vocals and not lasering and on the um, lyrics as much as I would like to um, but I feel like once I do that I'm gonna get even more just um, insight into her brain and also I think who did I say I think it said Carly Rae Jepsen was one of the co-writers on the song which it makes sense because she is someone who I feel like is so underrated as just an um, artist as a musician she she makes such good music Carly Rae Jepsen um she she knows how to write a hit um she just knows how to make quality music I don't know that she always gets the attention that she deserves for what she does so I'm glad that this collaboration happened and I can hear Carly Rae Jepsen's influence on it um and yeah, it's just, it's a fun song. It's a very fun song. Danceable. Very danceable. Love, love, love. Very perfect for going into school's letting out. School is letting out. We're going into summer vacation, so it's very appropriate going into that. So we have that sort of introduction to the album with me in mind just to give us, okay, this is kind of tonally what she's going for, but this is giving us like, okay, we're going into summer. This is a nice dance hit. We're going to get the party started. Um, and it makes me look forward to other things that are on the album. I still, <laughs> of everything, all the tracks I've seen, I need Rock Hudson. I need to know what that song is. I need it. It's the one that is just so appealing to me. And I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be. I don't know if it's a ballad, an upbeat song, a slow, like I have no idea. I don't know what lyrically the content's going to be. It's just the title alone makes my brain go so many places. And I'm like, oh, what tea is about to be spilled? I need to know. So I'm so excited for this album. I'm so excited for this album. I cannot wait for my, um, I pre-ordered my vinyl. Um, I, only vinyls I own are Kelly Clarkson at this point, um, which I'm not upset about. But I need to, I need to get the rest of her. See if I can find the rest of her discography on vinyl because I have Meaning of Life hanging in my living room. I've got the two Christmas albums also on display in my living room, and then I'll have Chemistry coming through. So I just need to backtrack and find the older albums. But projects for another day. Anyway, thoroughly enjoyed love the song love 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 the song and i'm excited to dive into the live performance um i might wait until tomorrow to dive into live performance um or i might just wait until after i shower who knows if i'm wearing well no if i wait until after i shower i'll be wearing something different You'll find out whenever you see the reaction to the live performance. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. Don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.